In today's video, I'm going to be discussing a 144.6% increase and your Social Security retirement, disability, SSDI, survivor, spousal, SSI, and VA checks. I have all the details and exactly what you need to know right here in the video. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. All right, now in this video, I do have some shocking numbers that I do want to bring to your attention because this directly pertains to your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, and of course, your fixed income benefit administered by Social Security. Security, and this all directly pertains to over 70 million people all across the country. And I want to bring this to your attention because this is very important. And believe it or not, over the last several years here, there's been a major, major discrepancy that's been going on for far too long and impacting your money and your lifestyle. Therefore, I want to bring it to your attention in this video. Let's get into it and talk about what's going on here and exactly what you need to know. However, really fast before we do, can I ask a huge favor of you? If you have not done so yet, or if you happen to be new here, will you make sure to subscribe to the channel and join the other nearly half a million people here on the channel that have already subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. It's an amazing time here. I love this community. So many great people here, a lot of great stuff going on and so many awesome people here in this community. Seriously, I just want to do whatever I can for you. It's a really tough time out there. I totally get it. I've been talking about fixed income benefits, all types of things like this for years now, and I have no intent of going anywhere. I'm doing all the research, watching the headlines, uh, advocating on your behalf, answering questions, anything I can to help you out right now to better understand all the details. There's bills, packages, proposals, ideas, concepts, anything pertaining to money, benefits, raises to benefits, checks, programs, stimulus, monthly checks. Yeah, you can see a lot of things happening, right? I'm bringing it all to your attention in these short videos. So again, thank you so much for joining me. Please make sure to join the other nearly half a million people here on the channel that have already subscribed. Thank you so much. Truly appreciate it. And let's talk through these details of 144.6%. And um, what does this mean? Okay, and again, the major discrepancy as well. I'm gonna break all that down for you here in this video. Uh, some big numbers, I mean, seriously, major discrepancies as well, okay? All right, so first off, let me ask you, just in the last, call it 23 and a half years, okay? So basically starting back in good old 2000, the year 2000 through right now, okay? So obviously as I film this video right now, we are not through the entire year of 2024. So let's just call it 23 full years and then, you know, a handful of months here for 2024, okay? So let's just be fair. Let's just call it the, 20, uh, the last 23 years, the last th uh, full 23 years. How much do you think that your social security or fixed income benefit checks, whether you've been receiving checks for that long or not, but just in general, over the last 23 years, how much do you think fixed income benefit checks have increased as a result of the COLAs just in the last, call it 23 years? Take a guess. Do you think it's like 7%, 12%, 21%, something like this? I'll tell you. It's a little over 81%. I know it sounds sounds hard to believe, right? Like what? There's no way. Yeah, it actually is. Okay, a little over 81% is how much benefits have increased in the last 23 years because of inflation and the colas and all kinds of things like this. That's what it comes down to. So when you look at it that way, you think, wow, that's not bad. I mean, that's like awesome, right? That's like a pretty nice increase. 81 plus percent on benefits. That's like <laughs> pretty cool, right? Just imagine if you had an investment that increased by 81% over, call it 23 years, you'd think, I'm rich. This is this is great, right? <laughs> I think we'd all be very happy with that. Until we look at the other part of the picture, right? There's always two sides to every picture, right? You got the you got the one side and the other, you got the up and the down, the in and the out, the black and the white, the I don't know, the whatever, the light and the dark. There's always a, an opposite to the other side, right? So here's what the other part of the picture is. How much, I'm gonna, again, another question for you. During that same time frame, basically, well, okay, this one's gonna be a little bit different, but let me just tell you the details, okay? From going back to the year 2000 until present time right now, mid 2024, call it, okay? How much do you think prices on goods and services have gone up during that same amount of time, okay? Goods and services, how much do you think prices have gone up as a result of price adjustments, inflation, whatever we want to call it. Well, you probably already know because I told you the percentage at the beginning of the video, 144.6%. That's the number, okay? <laughs> That's nuts. In the last, call it 23 and a half years, just to be, you know, to round numbers off here. In the last 23 and a half years, prices have gone up 144.6%. But wait, uh, I thought colas went up 81 point whatever percent, 81%. 
in the last uh, that same amount of time. And I thought that colas were supposed to adjust for the cost of living, as in price increases because of inflation. Yup, you are right. You are 100% correct. Colas are supposed to adjust for the price increases and stay at parity with inflation, right? That's whole. That's the whole. Um, the whole purpose of the cola, right? Inflation goes up five percent. The cola is supposed to go up five percent. Inflation goes up three percent. The cola is supposed to go up three percent to adjust for the cost of living. In other words, if your rent goes up. 0.5%, if utilities go up 0.5%, if food costs go up 1%, if everything else goes up 1%, that's a total of 3%. Your cost of living adjustment should also be 3% to adjust for the, or to adjust for the cost of living, right? It should, but it doesn't, okay? That's where the major discrepancy comes in. So the difference between 81% and 144.6%, that's a really good question. I could tell you it's about 40, 60, I'm trying to run the math right now, 63.6%, oh, I think, is about right. I could be off by a little bit there, but that's kind of my rough mental math as I talk here. Um, I think it's about 63.6%, yes, about 63.6%, give or take a little bit. I, I might be off a little bit there, but that's a major discrepancy, right? And this is what's going on right here, right now, okay? Now, as we speak right now, right now for 2024, inflation is still rising and the projections on the cost of living adjustment for this coming year for 2025 has not officially been released as I film this video, but it will be coming out here in October. So not that much longer here. Um, but when we do get that announcement and according to the current projections right now, we're kind of sitting anywhere around this like mid three and a half to maybe four and a half, maybe upper four and a half percent range. So they were kind of sitting in that range. That's going to get us nowhere even near the 144.6% uh, increase to prices that have gone up during the same amount of time. But yet, if we get, let's just say, let's just say, for example, we get a 4% increase. Okay, fine. Now we're sitting at an 85% increase to benefits over the last, call it 24 years at that time, but yet prices have still gone up nearly 145%, right? Do you see the major discrepancy in why this is such an issue? Yeah, exactly. And again, I'm going to throw out a, a majorly obvious um, statement right now. No wonder why seniors, no wonder why fixed income individuals, no wonder why people with disabilities are falling behind and struggling more and more every single year. Because every single year, we continue to fall a little bit more behind. It might not be a ton. It might be 1%, one and a half. It might be 2% each and every year, or it might even be 0.3% each and every year. But over long periods of time, like what you can see right here on this example, 23 to 24 years, it's equated to 63 or no, what did I say? 63.6%? Yeah, uh, over 23 years. So basically, what is that? Tw what is that? 2% a year on average? I think it's, yeah, it's about 2%. That's a little less than that. It's It averages out to probably about 1.8-ish percent a year over that same amount of time. So again, it's a slow grind, right? We may not notice, oh, we fell behind by, you know, 1.8 or 2% over the course of one year time. It may not make a huge difference on a year to year basis, but when we look over long periods of time, like 23 to 24 years, we can clearly see the painting on the wall right here. We're behind 23, sorry, I said it wrong. We're behind nearly 63.6%, according to my mental math here, right? That's crazy. Just imagine what this would be if benefits actually would have kept up with real inflation and actually adjusted for the increases of this uh, over the last 23 to 24 years. Could you imagine that your benefits would potentially be 63.6% higher? That would be for a $1,000 monthly benefit check right now, that'd be an extra call it $630 a month. That's crazy. That's craziness. I mean, this is life-changing money that we're talking about right now, that people are behind because simply the COLA did not keep up. That's literally all it comes down to, right? Now, another thing as well, remember, there's this legislation out there. In fact, there's a ton of pieces of legislation that have this uh, encompassed wind in it. There's standalone bills. There's all kinds of different things like this, but there's a lot of legislation out there right now to increase, or sorry, to change the COLA from the CPIW to the CPIE. I'm going to say this much okay, fine, that would be good, but that's not gonna change it. That's not going to fix the situation, right? It's it's really not. It's not going to it's not going to fix what's actually going on and the major discrepancies here. The CPIE only outpaces the CPIW by a little tiny bit. It's not much. Like over a 10 year span of time, it outpaces it by like 1.7 or 1.8%. It's not much. So my point is 
changing it from the CPI W to the CPI E would also not affect this. And if they were to do this now today, we would have lost out on the last 24 years of how much of the adjustments should have been anyway. You get what I'm saying here? So what they really need to be doing is just relaying accurate price increases for goods and services through the inflation data that it seems to be um, is, you know, kind of undermining uh, beneficiaries, right? Or I don't know, come up with some better calculation to figure out the COLA, whatever it happens to be. Beneficiaries are falling behind. There's no other way to put it. We can run the math on this. We can look back in history. We can look, look at all the statistics. It's very clearly painted right here. You can see it. You just saw what I displayed for you here in this video, right? It's nuts. It's crazy to see this going on. So anyway, I want to share this with you really quickly here in this video so you can clearly see what's going on. And um, you can see the details, the discrepancies, how this is impacting checks. This is nuts, right? At least in my opinion, I think it is. So anyway, I hope this helps you out. But again, I just want to bring this to your attention so you can clearly see what's going on here. And um, yeah, what's going on with benefit checks? Either way, let's just hope that um, we get a nice healthy cola and that this inflation goes away and that we lock in a nice big cola, you know, for next year and beyond. And the colas are permanent. You remember that as well. So anyway, enjoy your day. Please subscribe down below. Join the other nearly half a million people here on the channel. I truly appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Just want to do what I can for you. Continue to advocate on your behalf and keep you posted on what's going on here. Otherwise, um, yeah, subscribe down below. Share the video. Again, a big share button right down below. Right down below there. Big share button. Make sure to hit that. Share this out to your friends, family, social media. Otherwise, um, check out some of the videos here on the channel. The thousands of video library. The ones I've hand-selected for you down below in the description of the top of the comment section. And uh, popping up on your screen right now. You'll see some videos there as well. Otherwise, enjoy. Check out your, that next video right now. And uh, I'll catch you in later.